Welcome to another quick tip in our Spotfire Mods mini series. Today we're going to be doing the spider chart, also sometimes called the radar chart. And it's a great visualization for profiling your data, looking at how your data changes over time or different categories across another category. So let's take a look at this. So the spider chart is pretty similar to the parallel coordinate plot. The parallel coordinate plot has been in Spotfire for quite some time. Here you see it with uh, different uh, aspects of different countries and it's clustered and it's showing things like water usage. So if I remove this trellis here, then you'll see the um, uh, all these different uh, k-means clusters, all these clusters and how they change over these different categories. Now, the spider chart is kind of a rolled up version of this. So let's take a look at the spider chart. So here is a spider chart and I'm looking at video game sales. So if I wanna take a look at this data real quick, the video game sales, uh, you want this to be in a tall format. Uh, so this is the data we're gonna use. We have different names of the video games, years, the publisher, North American, EU, Japan, and uh, other sales, and global sales. And we're gonna look at global sales and we're gonna look at uh, the different genres and different uh, publishers as well for the different platforms of this, uh, this data. So I'm gonna show you how to configure this type of radar chart. So let's go ahead and I'll go ahead and start from visualizations. And remember, Spotfire Mods, you can find on tipco.com forward slash mods. You can go to these different mods. You can uh, you can find them. The spider chart is on page two now. Uh, and you can grab that spider chart mod. You can go to learn more. And from here, you can download the mod and it'll give you a zip file. Unzip that zip file. And then you just get your mod file. You have a mod file, you take it, you drag it, you drop it, you put it right in the spot fire, and there you go. If you want to save it to your library, then you have access to it later. You can pin it to your flyout after you've saved it to your library. And once you save it to your library, you can also share it with other people uh, at your organization that have access to mods in the same library folder. So just a reminder of that's how the uh, Spotfire mods work. Um, and uh, this video game sales data is coming from Kaggle. Uh, it's an open data set on, um, on these video games. So let's go back to Spotfire and I have my spider chart mod. It is, well, right here. I have my spider chart. I can click that and you'll see that it's automatically gone by genre and it's looking at platform. So if I want to see which platform, so this, this around here, this X is a categorical type. So uh, this is a filled in circle. Now, a lot of these mods, you should left click and you can see, left click around the visualization. There's usually some hidden menus here. So this one is rounded. You can change that to linear. Now it looks a little more choppy, a little more straight. Uh, it's not smooth. If I want, I can rotate the X axis labels just like that. Uh, I can normalize the values. I can take, turn off the color fill. So you get those options right there by just clicking on this axis with a left click. Now, if I wanna see this in terms of uh, my total sales, my Y right now is the row count. So this is just showing the number of video games per genre, but let's say I wanna see total sales. Those are the total sales Y is gonna be on your spokes of your uh, radar chart wheel, your spire chart wheel. Uh, and then going around this, I like to sometimes put this into a time component. So if I put year in here, now we're seeing how the genres have become since 2000 uh, to 2020. Uh, we have less data on 2000, from 2016 to 2020, but we're seeing which games are becoming more popular. This blue one is the most popular. That is shooter. So shooter games became really popular around 2007 and really started spiking up. And you're seeing that now. This uh, yellow one, sports games. Sports games have been uh, relatively popular on and off, um, staying popular. Um, and then some other ones, let's see, we have this pink one here. This is a platform games. Those platform games are are very popular, but kind of declining in the later years. Now, if I want to see this, that is all by the average global sales. If I want to see it by the total global sales, uh, here is what's actually, our action games are actually, um, per you know, for the total games that are being sold, those action games are the highest right now. And then next up is the shooter games that we just saw earlier. Uh, and I can switch this color by, I can switch this instead to platform. You can see which platforms are getting more popular. So this one's PS2, so after 2004, looks like that's when the PS3 came out, and then the PS3 became more popular there. Uh, then as the PS4, uh, PS5 data is not in this data set yet. I'm sure that's getting very popular now these days. So that's the way I can view all of these different categories overlaid. Um, it's very useful to look at over time. I have also looked at some COVID-19 data 
uh, if I pull that up, this is COVID-19 in the months of October in which states were becoming, uh, were having different spikes and which ones were kind of staying, uh, staying high. So this one is Illinois, uh, one of the higher ones, uh, but it stayed high, whereas this one right here, uh, this one actually just uh, jumped up and you can see this respond to markings. Uh, Georgia over here also had a big spike right around the, the 3rd of uh, uh, November. So really useful mod that you can use. I've been waiting for this buyer chart for a long time. Glad to see it in Spotfire mods. Uh, you can use this to profile different things like attributes of your employees on your team or of your sales accounts or uh, of different physical assets you might have out in the field. Uh, so there's all kinds of different uh, things that you can use this for. Hope you enjoy it. Make sure to join our next session on Spotfire Mods and make sure you subscribe to the channel. We're going to be doing lots more uh, quick tips just like this one. Thanks and we'll see you next time.